Welcome back. After a long time today, we are actually going to talk about martial arts and fighting on this channel because we are mostly focused on traditional exercises and drills that you can do. So here is a fighting technique, how to land kicks from close range, especially the knee kick. This is a variety of the knee kick that is kind of dying because we don't practice this a lot. So this is a kick in which from the close range, even if you are tied together to the opponent, you are very close to the opponent without giving up space, without dragging your leg back without showing anything you can still lift up your leg and cause enough damage because the technique is meant like that you don't have to create a lot of space for doing it you do not need to step back you do not need to jump it can be done from the position itself even from a clinch position to land a nice knee kick on the opponent's ribs or like the chest or body area backside liver kidney like if you're aiming for those targets it can be much more pain inflicting it can be much more damaging in that sense this can be used in self-defense fighting or your sparring with friends but of course you have to be careful with that so this is a kick from close range the knee kick is already a good kick to be applied from close range because other kicks your side kick and your other kicks in which you are using your foot this is a long range weapon this is a long range weapon so to use a kick like a side kick, it's a long range weapon, which can be used like from this distance. Yeah, I can reach the camera. So this is a different type of weapon that you are using from a long range. Like if I have a sword, I will fight from here. But if I have a knife, I will have to get close. So according to the situation, you will plan which weapon you are going to use. So this is a knee kick, which is already a close range weapon. But a special knee kick which can be used from closer range, which can be used without showing the opponent what we are going to do. So let us see what the technique is, how to practice this on the punching bag. And if possible, I'll show you how to practice this with your friend or how it will look on a human. So the knee kick is practiced in many ways. Usually it's like from a distance, you can do this and you can go in for the spear. Whoa, yeah, yeah. These kind of kicks. Otherwise, from a close range, you're creating one and space, your hands are either on the face or behind the neck of the opponent. And those are the techniques. From a close range, you could spit back and like a roundhouse, it comes circular movement. Otherwise, pulling it back, creating more space. So more and more space can be used. But here is a kick in which you do not have to do this. The technique is very simple, lifting up the leg and then doing this. So this is like your Michael Jackson <laughs> step in which you go, yes. And it's about lifting up the leg and then using your hip and doing this. It's like one and two, one and two. How effective is this? Is this as powerful as a flying knee kick? No. This is small technique, small technique, small damage that will cause enough time for you to escape or create space for another technique. Small things also matter. So this is a kick from a close range. What I'm doing is I'm not pulling it back. I'm not lifting it up. I'm not doing any of that from the range itself, from wherever you started. It's about lifting up. And doing this one two one two one two do not worry about how bad you look while practicing this you will look stupid here and here it's not supposed to be practiced it's not supposed to be applied like this in air one so it's anyway going to look different when you are here look at that it's about one and two it has power you're lifting up and then putting your body weight into it it's like instead of doing this because you don't have space you lift up your hand and then that's what we are doing here so 
without going back from here itself I can do it and without taking a lot of space also even if you do not have the space for going round like this you don't need that you could just lift up and then into it This can be applied on the chest anywhere in the body area. So here's a closer look to what it would look like. Space. No. The thing is we don't have space for doing other cool techniques like e. I don't have the space and time and you know the convenience to do all these crazy techniques like. Of course I would prefer to do that. But from a close ray like inside. Yeah. You don't have space, you create some space. I'm sorry, my head was that side. If you don't have space, you create space. Make sure the part is open, that is the ribs and the outside part of the body. Lift up, lift up, do this. Doesn't look very attractive, it looks bad. This is not something you would do for your cool martial art videos or for a movie choreography. This is something that can be more practical. You're closed and then you go bam, bam. Look at the power it has. It's still not bad. I, I'm not doing this, but it still has power. From on the spot without moving the leg, it still has power because what is happening is I'm using my hip to get into it. Lift and get into it. And it's not going to be very low also. It's flexible enough. It's a good position for you to reach anywhere almost near to the shoulder. So it's not very low. It's not very hard to do. Even if you're not very flexible, you can easily hit somewhere your chest range. You can definitely make it hit the target. Even if the target is very high, you can still do it. Do not need a lot of flexibility, a little bit of practice, a little bit of understanding of how you move your legs, little bit of mind muscle coordination, and you can do it. Bang, bang. Why not? So, here is what I was talking about. So these are the regular kicks in which you go back but here is something in which you can just lift up the leg and chain direction. This can be used to the back of the body that's very painful or while in movement like this you don't need a lot of space you don't need to pull your leg back although I am pulling my leg back in these kicks but it can still save a lot of space and time. The part of your knee that will be touching the target is most probably this one. If you are very flexible you can make the regular part also hit otherwise it will be the side of your knee now is this very healthy is this very good for you i wouldn't recommend that you do this on a punching bag 50 times every day it's a technique which you understand the technique practice it enough that you can apply it please understand that fighting and martial art we do a lot of things which are not necessarily very good very scientific very healthy very it will take you to fitness and health not necessarily we do crazy things like we hit stuff and we strengthen and do all these kind of things which are not necessarily good for your overall health so it's not something to be practiced every day 50 times practice is important you need to do the conditioning you need these techniques because they work in a fight but not necessarily this is something that if you do more it's good it's not that kind of an exercise It's not unsafe, you can practice this definitely, but don't go crazy over it. So that's all for today. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe and press the bell icon. If you like what I'm wearing, the color dhoti, it's available. You can order this online, very comfortable. You can see I'm doing all these techniques without being conscious about where my pants are going. So <laughs> it's very comfortable. You can order this online, the color dhoti. There is a phone number given in the description. Leave a WhatsApp message and we'll trace it, we'll plan it for you, whatever color, whatever size. Actually, this is free size. There's no different size. 
for somebody who is very tall, for somebody who is very small, it looks good on everybody because this is not a size based thing, it's open, you can close it like a dhoti, it's a dhoti. So anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe and press the bell icon, Karali Dhoti, you can order, check out our merch on the Kadak Merch store, link is in description, new courses are available, Muddy Muscles, Dund Bethek Sapati, 17 video modules are there, get access to those playlists. You can get access to Muddy Muscles course too. That is your Lati, Silambam and Kalari inspired Lati drills. Single hand Lati, double hand Lati, all these martial art inspired techniques you will learn. Plus you will learn how to do that as exercise. So workout oriented Lati, Silambam, Kalari. Link is in description. You will have to download the app, Sendo Jitsu app and you can register for these courses. You can register for online classes and you can find all those details. The links are in description. Thank you.